Thank you very much, and I want to thank my colleagues for being here this morning as well. Assemblymember Gaines, Assemblymember Solario, the Majority Leader Alberto Tarico, and of course uh, Senator Wright, who gave a very passionate speech on the Senate floor this Monday to help uh, move this process along. I'm also here to show my support to my colleagues. Uh, as has already been mentioned, uh, this plant is a major economic force in the state of California. Uh, four to five thousand jobs uh, are there, and there's thousand, countless thousands of other jobs that can be uh, hurt if this plant does close. Uh, we have suppliers and vendors throughout the state of California who uh, supply this plant, not to mention the energy use uh, of this plant as well, which would impact our energy providers as well. Uh, I'm very concerned, as Senator, excuse me, Assemblymember Tarico mentioned, at how this will impact our district in Fremont. Uh, not only does this impact vendors throughout the state, but just the local economy, how this will impact uh, homeowners, how this will impact the grocery stores, the local health care providers, and everybody who is involved with this plant. So uh, I share the concern of my colleagues. I will be working and supporting measures that have been introduced already. I've already signed up as co-author on the measures that have been in introduced. But even more importantly, I think we need to move this even more quickly than the legislative process provides. Uh, some of us have already been in contact with the governor's office and we are asking for his assistance and in looking into all of the programs that are already available to assist manufacturers. I'm partic particularly interested in creating an enterprise zone in Fremont surrounding the plant uh, to assist this plant, allow for various different uh, uh, tax assistance and uh, tax programs, but also perhaps to help us move even some of the other suppliers and vendors that are out of state closer to the Fremont area, which will allow cost savings that can allow this plant to continue to operate and be feasible. So I just pledge my support to work directly with Toyota, to work directly with uh, knew me, and also I have reached out to Senator Boxer and Senator Feinstein's on meetings that already occurred prior to the announcement of GM pulling out to ask for federal assistance as well. Uh, I, I do believe that we do have an opportunity to save this plant, but it will take a lot of hard work working together to make this happen, and I pledge my uh, support to Toyota to work with them in whatever way we can to continue operating this facility in Fremont. Thank you.